Frank McMurray for Golden Gate Justice. I'm here at the Larkspur Ferry Terminal and the workers of the Golden Gate Ferry have gone on strike. On May 26th, the terminal attendants working for Golden Gate Ferry went out on strike. The ferry belongs to the Golden Gate Bridge District, which also owns and operates the famous bridge. The terminal attendants were supported on the picket line by the Golden Gate deckhands, who are also fighting for better conditions at the ferry. Both groups are represented by the Inland Boatmen's Union, or IBU. The terminal attendants want increased pay for an increased workload. The deckhands are asking for improvements in health and safety conditions and to preserve their onboard break room, traditionally called a foc'sle. The deckhands also want to stop electronic spying by their employer. My job, I collect tickets, count the passengers, bring in the ferry, um, answer as many questions as I can in one day. The machines, yeah, I think they're a big hassle. They are. A lot of passengers, they don't know what they're doing. One of the things that uh, is very un uncomfortable for me uh, is that the, the heads of the restrooms on the boats um, leak from, from the upper decks to the lower decks on, many of the, on some of the boats. And uh, the overheads, uh, where the uh, ventilation systems um, I push an air into the passenger spaces aren't uh, aren't cleanly. Lots of dust and mold and, and sewage and other things that can t contaminate the air. No, I'm just like I'm here to support IBU and I'm a part of IBU now so I'm here so that we can get things accomplished. I, I try to clean up the boats but the boats got mold, they stink like a barn and I like them to uh, do the effort on cleaning up the boats. So the, the company's not uh, taking care of the sanitary problems. That, is that one of the issues? Well, they, like, they put a Band-Aid on, uh, on, a, on a bullet wound. Alex Tonneson, co-chair of the Golden Gate Bridge Labor Coalition and the rep for IFPT Local 21. We represent engineers and clerical workers at the Golden Gate Bridge. Right. And uh, why are you down here with the uh, IBU people today? Well, even though uh, both of our units have settled our contracts, uh, we definitely want to show solidarity with the striking IBU workers. And I want to make sure I was down here to show that uh, the coalition is still standing strong together. It's the same fight. It's governments are trying to impose austerity programs on workers, making the workers pay for their economic crisis. Mm -hmm. And that's not fair. The Golden Gate Bridge was built by union labor back in the 30s. It's been maintained and operated by union labor. And they are just asking for... Uh, justice and they want a decent uh, pension and welfare plan and decent working conditions and I think everybody deserves that. And I think another issue is the bikes. We just get swamped with bikes and they just keep on putting more and more on there and it's just, it's unsafe. Mm -hmm. it's, it's unsafe for the passengers and the crew alike. What do you envision would happen if there was a need to abandon a ship on one of these boats with all these bikes on board? I don't even like to think about that. It would be a terrible mess. Right. Terrible. I am. County? I live in Mill Valley, born and raised there. All right. And uh, was uh, this a surprise when you came to the ferry this morning? It was a surprise. We were heading over to San Francisco, going to enjoy a good birthday brunch for my daughter. And we came and there was the ferry protesters. So. Uh, I was completely unaware of any of the issues facing commuters, facing the workers on the ferry. Uh, and now that I've been educated and learned that there are grave sanitation issues, as well as issues with safety and being able to get off the boat in an emergency, I'm very concerned about it. It's about uh, a contract. Uh, it's a sermon that needs uh, that we uh, that I've been uh, that we as a coalition that's been preaching uh, for the past year, uh, but. The district is not uh, paying attention uh, to the sermon, mm -hmm. uh, to what's being said in the sermon, uh, and uh, it's, that's a big sin. Um, uh, there's a much, the reason we're here today is the IBU, the Inland Boatmen's Union, is going on strike uh, to show our solidarity with our brothers and sisters on the waterfront. We're here walking the picket lines with them on uh, San Francisco and the Sonoma, that's the kind of folks that we should have. Right. A refrigerator, microwave, a table to sit down and eat at. Oh, uh, and what about the uh, conditions in terms of 
sewage and mold on the boats. Is there a lot of that? Now, the sewage on the boat, I've been splashed with it one time. And I've seen other guys get splashed with that. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a bad, bad situation. Right. And you think that uh, is exposure that the, the public also gets to the mold and the sewage? Definitely. Every time I see a baby crawling on that deck, I get sick. With the family? Yeah, it's a very important issue for me and my family. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I'm, that's why I'm here. I'm supporting my union brothers and sisters. The Gate Bridge District is controlled by the, the surrounding counties, and maybe the surrounding counties should stand up and bring the, uh, the board of directors to uh, do a, a fair term with us so that we can uh, take care of our families and go to work. Dennis Mulligan, CEO of the Bridge District, refused to negotiate with the striking workers. Instead, he convinced California Governor Jerry Brown to issue an emergency order forcing the terminal attendants back to work the next day. The IBU has vowed to fight on. This is Frank McMurray for Golden Gate Justice. You know, we have the right to go on strike until they call the governor to right. shut us down. But you know what? That doesn't make, even if they give us an injunction, it doesn't make this right. It doesn't make it fair to us. What they're doing to the terminal assistants, what they're doing to our sailors is wrong. So we're going to continue to make our point however we need to do until we get this issue resolved. If they want to show us what they can do, we get that. But you know what? It's our job. It's, you know, our eight to 11 hours out here that we're going to protect every condition we can.